In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Teachable platform in order for you to take full advantage of the courses that AE Juice has available to you. So let's get into it. So as you can see, if we're looking at this article, it says, where are the courses? So it says, go to aejuice.teachable.com. And once you've done that, it will take you to this page here. And the first step is to just press the login as a student button. So of course, this is where you should enter your email address and your password, and this should have been emailed to you. Now, once you've logged on, you can see that we've got these three courses instantly available to us. So we've got the Beyond the Parallax Effect, Frame by Frame Animation, and Basic Premiere Pro. So let's just select one of these courses. So let's go for Basic Premiere Pro. Now, next up, you first just want to begin by selecting Start Next Lecture, and that will load up the beginning of the course. So you've got the course overview, the course trailer here, which will now start to play. And as you can see, that is myself talking through how to use Adobe Premiere Pro. Now, as you can see, let's have a look over here at this article. We've got play slash pause button. So this right here in the bottom left is your play slash pause button. So if the tutorial or the course is going a little bit too quick or you need to go back, then just pause, pull the slider back and just revisit that section. Of course, if you needed to just take a moment off, just press pause, do what you need to do, come back, press play. Then of course, if you go up to here and select complete and continue, then that means you've marked this lesson as complete. And that means you can now go on to the next episode or the next video. So as you can see, I've done that and that's gonna bring us on to the light and camera episode. Next up down here, you can see we have got the download button. So if you press download, then that means you can download that for offline viewing. So if you don't have an internet connection, and you wanted to watch this on the go, maybe you wanted to watch this on an airplane or you wanted to watch this on a train where you haven't got great signal on your phone, then you can just press download and you can watch that offline. Then of course, over here on the left, you've got all of the different topics that are in this specific course. And this is where you can track your progress. So you can see I've completed the first course, it's got a tick. And then you can see there's also this symbol here, which is basically saying we're halfway through completed it, we've started it, and now we're just going to continue watching it from this point. You can see also there's nothing in these circles and that's because we haven't visited these lessons yet. And that means these are the lessons that we now need to visit. And then of course, if we scroll to the bottom right of the video, you can see you've got the settings icon and this allows us to adjust the speed of the video. So if you feel like the person talking is a little slow, you can speed up the video. If the person's a little too quick, then you can slow them down or you can just have this as normal speed. And then of course you can change the quality as well. So most courses are probably gonna be 1080p. So you can select full 1080p quality, or if you're in an area with not great Wi-Fi, you can pull that down to 720 or 540. I wouldn't recommend going too low though, because these are mostly screen capture based courses. And that means you're really gonna miss those fine details if your screen is blurry and pixelated. As you can see in this example, if you had 360p for example, so let's go 360p and we'll skip forward to a point where there's intricate detail you can see it's all starting to get a little bit difficult to see. So you want to make sure that it's set to your best possible resolution. You'll also notice as well, if you go up to the top left here and press the settings icon, you can find speed here as well. So you can just flick through all of the different speed options. And you can also press auto complete if you finish watching a video. So it will just automatically auto complete. You also have the option to auto play the videos as well. That would be turned on by default, but you can turn that off. And then of course, if we just return home, you can see you've got course curriculum and your instructor. So if you select your instructor, there should be some details about the instructor there. You can see course curriculum is gonna give you a breakdown. And then some courses will also have additional material that you can download. So this course, for example, does not. But if we go back to the home page, you can see we've got all of these courses appearing. So let's go for frame by frame animation. You can see if we scroll down, you can see it says download project files and assets. So if you select the download project files and assets button, it's gonna send you to this link and you can then go ahead and download any project files or assets that may be required to help you complete the course. Now, of course, we're in the Beyond the Parallax Effect course at this moment in time, and we're on episode five, 2.5D trees. And rather than downloading it from a separate page, you can see there are different assets and project files available to us here as well. So you can also download specific project files under specific videos if they're available to us. It's worth noting as well that even though there are loads of different courses available for you to watch, so let's go back to the homepage, you can see you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight courses available 
not every single course will have project files and assets available for you to download. So if it's not there, then it probably means there isn't something for you to download. So don't worry, you're not missing something. There's just not something that you can download for that course. And there you go. The AE Juice Teachable platform is a really easy to understand platform, and it's a great way for you to learn how to use specific AE Juice programs or how to use specific software or plugins. So if you have purchased or have access to course with AE Juice, then just go through the Teachable platform, have a quick look through it. And if you have any more questions, then please do not hesitate to get in touch because we would love to help you answer your questions.